In a time where kids are spending a lot of time online, this can open a door to easier access for human trafficking, and the COVID-19 pandemic may be making it worse. News 9's Nina Paholke is live in our control center, and she has more on this part of our story. Well, Melissa, from posing as kids online to working to get these predators off the streets, law enforcement says human trafficking is a serious issue. And an area mom says that she's working to educate not only herself and her kids, but also the entire community now more than ever. It's the fastest growing industry in the world right now, and that's heartbreaking. The industry of sex trafficking. Uh, kids are online a lot more. Now, investigators say predators take a more modern approach. They can take a much more low risk approach and uh, lure them online. Don't need to snatch children off the streets or even from their own homes. I've spent quite a few nights crying over stories that I've read or looked at, um, just thinking about what if those were my own kids. Kids spending more time in front of screens. Especially now during the pandemic when internet usage is up 30 to 70 percent, depending on which platform you look at. They have plenty of success establishing relationships with children online and then luring them to a place that's safe for them where they can uh, do whatever their, their intent is with that child. The Marathon County Sheriff's Department is part of ICAC or Internet Crimes Against Children. A statewide task force. Support and funding from the state to be proactive when it comes to investigations of uh, people targeting children online especially for sex trafficking or sexual gratification. Sex trafficking, an issue we need to be aware of and make our kids aware of. Talk with your kids, say, hey, we downloaded this app last week. How's it been going on there? Does anybody talk inappropriately on there? Role play some scenarios with them. What would you do if somebody made some inappropriate comments or asked you to share your personal information and get kids thinking about good ways to avoid that behavior? Encouraging you to be involved, hoping to prevent your child from becoming a victim. And officials say creating the safe environment with your kids can make them feel comfortable coming to you if a predator is trying to chat with them online. Live in the Control Center, Nina Paholke, News 9 WAOW. Thanks, Nina.